We're all capable of experiencing trauma. We're all capable of being devastated at the loss of a loved one or the loss of a relationship. And it can lead many people into depression due to the sense of uncertainty. And narcissistic individuals are no different. However, with a narcissist, it's what's more commonly known as the narcissist collapse, where they become extremely distressed due to their self-image being challenged or threatened in some way. It's not because they've lost somebody they care about. It's because they're potentially losing the facade that they're trying to show to those around them. When a narcissistic individual receives some form of narcissistic injury, such as someone saying no to their sense of entitlement, they can usually play some manipulative games and get their own way. However, when these manipulative games are no longer working and they're no longer getting their needs met by others, this can lead to that narcissistic collapse. When their sense of superiority is challenged and threatened to the point where they might be exposed or they have been exposed, this can cause a narcissist to collapse. Narcissistic individuals, when they go through the narcissist collapse, they tend to go towards self-destructive behaviours in order to cope. Now, genuine people can begin to procrastinate and it negatively affects themselves. Genuine people can fall into depression, can have a breakdown as such and need support and help in getting back on their feet. Try and help a narcissist get on their feet and they will go all out to exploit and ruin you. So when a narcissist is no longer able to manipulate, when they're no longer able to control, when they've got that loss of control, more often than not, they will try to seek out another source of supply. They might go back to an old source of supply. However, if that's not working out for them, they can resort to a lot of anger and resentment and blame. They blame everybody else for their problems. Where a victim often blames and questions and doubts themselves and finds it very difficult to pass responsibility back to the rightful owner, narcissistic individuals have no problem in blaming other people. They have a very big issue in being able to question themselves, see any mistakes or faults or failings or wrongdoings within themselves, it's never their fault. It's always somebody else's fault. When they're suffering a narcissist collapse, they can become physically and verbally aggressive towards another person. They can become extremely defensive because to a narcissist, nothing is ever their fault. It's always somebody else's. They can become excessively vindictive. They will go all out to ruin your reputation, to destroy your credibility. They're clutching on to those straws to, to try and destroy you any way they can in order to save themselves. And when a narcissist receives that narcissistic injury, when they can no longer control you, when they suffer from that narcissistic collapse, one thing they can do is just completely withdraw. They can remove themselves from the situation. They can remove themselves from the friends and the family and the area they live and they can move to a whole new place because they're looking to start again. They're looking to impress a load of strangers, to sell the strangers an illusion of who they are and walking away from those who've recognised their behaviour. So they will happily start a whole new life in order to deceive new people so that they can get their needs met. However, as that's who they are as a person, they tend to just hit a pattern of repeat. Yet to a narcissist, it's never their fault. It's 
always somebody else's.